building a rocket stove. We're going to be building two rocket stoves and picked up three propane tanks. Uh, these two, what, what I would call RV propane tanks, one size up from your regular barbecue. And then this uh, three and a half, four footer, um, which I'll be making the uh, second one out of, which is going to be a little bigger. Um, these two I've already cut. Uh, I cut them in two different spots. This one leaving just a little bit of the lip. Uh, you can see it's, uh, And then this one I've cut just below the weld. And that allows me to um, fit the two of them together. So it fits something like, something like this. And there'll be brackets holding it together, ring a fire rope around there, and that'll hold it. Gauges. I've got a 4x4 four four and it's quarter inch. Uh, I've also got another 4x4 four four which we use for the chimney and it's a lighter gauge of steel. I'm actually going to um, use the heavy 4x4 four four to come up uh, and then I'll place this on top. So this piece actually won't be as long as you see. It'll be a little bit shorter and I want to use the heaviest gauge in and around the actual burn chamber because pretty hot, so I wanted to go with as thick a thick of steel as I could, as you can see, we're looking at a quarter inch here. Now this is a five and a half by five and a half piece, um, which really I'm going to actually cut down, uh, so it's a four inch wide, and uh, and it'll be five and a half long, just to give me a little bit more volume for wood. Uh, I figured it would be easier to cut this down uh, rather than Obviously, I'll take two cuts on this thing, but have only one weld to make. This one here will be a little bit bigger, but I am going to use um, the round off the top of this one as a base for my smaller one. Because when I do actually get onto this one, I'm going to have a piece of plate steel on the top, so it'll have a flat top. So in case you want to cook on it, or well, yeah, basically in case you want to cook on it, and also I think it would be better to have a um, thicker steel directly above the uh, chimney, just because you've got all that hot exhaust pounding right into it, and I've actually, well, what up? basically just using, uh, you know, uh, this welder, a grinder, you know, some simple measuring tools, and that's about it, I don't have any special tools, and in fact, I'm working in my greenhouse right now, which I just, not built, but kind of knocked the old one apart, and Because over here, uh, that's where the garage is going to go. Whatever. Um, so I'm going to start with a small one. Hopefully that will be good enough. The garage is going to end up being about 500, what is it, 570 with an 8 foot ceiling. And it'll be fully insulated. Um, also on top of this one here, um, we're going to have a fan, a built in fan. Uh, this piece here, which I actually cut off here conveniently, will fit on top, like so, uh, not just drilled out in the, in the front, and then a, a squirrel fan, or hamster fan, or whatever you want to call it, uh, blowing air in to the pocket, and then it'll be coming out the, um, the vents. Cause you get so uh, this piece here will be the 6 by 4 and it's 14 inches. This piece here will be approximately 10 inches long, it'd be 4 by 4 and then this piece here is approximately 20, 18, 18 inches, and uh, it also is a 4 by 4 although above this area here, it'll be a lighter gauge steel, that's this piece here, which is the uh, same shape, this is lower piece, but once again, it's uh, slightly lighter gauge, and then unfortunately I couldn't get uh, 4 by 6, so I had to go for a 5.5 by 5.5, which I will cut down and make it four inches wide so you won't see this overhang here. Um, I'm also going to use this part of this piece here as an ash trap on the bottom of the uh, stove. Just a four inch deep ash trap so I can, uh, you know, clean it while it's running and also not have to clean it quite as often. We've just uh, welded on this band, tack welded. 
onto that uh, lip we talked about, so in essence, out of uh, the base of this tank here. Cut the bottom off first um, and the bottom first part of the burn, well the burn chamber. Basically um, got my uh, quarter inch pipe, right, cut this piece out and now that And then um, for the chimney itself, I'll be using this piece here, just slightly, slightly lighter gauge, um, and it'll be top. One of the reasons that I wanted to go with the heavy gauge here is, as I've seen <coughs> videos of these things, um, when you get the glowing, the real heat is right in here and it kind of fades uh, I guess depending on you know it's, 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 the fire will be starting here real heat will be taking place in here and it'll start dissipating when it comes up to here that's uh, just what I've seen on on some footage of these things so there's the first joint welded up uh, single pass because I'm using this little MIG welder all end up doing a couple passes on everything on this quarter inch stuff for sure. Um, the worst weld for an amateur, you know what I mean? Uh, so here I am cutting the uh, six inch piece uh, down to a four by a six inch piece. Looking for it on the, uh, as the wood hopper right there almost done. I sure do wish they made uh, 4 by 6 tubing, but pain in the ass. Okay, so here it is. 6 by 4 inch. Oops, shit. So hot. Uh, 6 by 4 inch. Like it. Which would go in here. Cut it, put a little bit of an angle to it, tacked on the chimney, and uh, there it is. So I'll cut a little angled piece off this, might use it for an ash trap. Sit like so. Just cutting out the hole for it now. That is how many. That is how many cutting discs I've gone through since starting this fucking project. Think about it. 